you are welcome in this video tutorial we'll explain the project hotel room booking it is a vb.net project after watching this video you can write this project in any other language you can write in vb.net you can write in c sharp you can uh, make it in python or you can make it as an online project also so we will demonstrate the project like how we have done so how it will serve the purpose for the hotel first let us understand what are the requirement what all we want to do it first you need to design the project so once you plan it according to that you need to develop the project so we all know like hotel so basically there are the rooms so this is the hotel so it contains rooms so you should have the room details room room details the first thing is the room detail so what is the price for each room next is when the rooms are available the customer will come to the hotel so he is a customer they want to book the room or they want to occupy the room fine so that is for the concept booking so the room should be booked so you should have provide an easy interface for the employees so therefore they can book the room after booking they can vacate the room so they can vacate so on vacating you need to generate the bill generate the bill okay so with this you should take the concept like no advance amount so when you're booking you need to uh, take advance when you make the bill you need to find out number of days into per day charge then total then minus advance then plus if there is any taxes you need to add the taxes then you need to find the total what are the total and then based on this we need to have a reports so report should give us so what are the bookings done what are the advances taken and what are the bills so all this should be there in this project so this is a design concept now the question is why you selected this project probably you are interested in the this particular segment so because there are many domains so hotel room booking also one domain so this is a travel industry so you are interested in that therefore you have selected the hotel room booking and uh, by complete this video what all you gain so therefore you learn some language skills we show you like how we can do the project in vb.net so you can use the same skill to write in different languages also and domain skills domain is the hotel okay so here you need to understand how the hotel works how customers will book the rooms and how the whole process works okay therefore this is the domain skills next is the work experience if you do the project your own you definitely gain the experience that definitely count for your job so in future when you get into when you want to get into a job so you should know like what you know what experience you're having so without experiencing getting job is little difficult therefore you need to keep practice one or the other project so once you know like completely you've done the project then you know the language very well then you know the domain then easy for you to get the job now let us look at the forms what are the forms you are using in this project so here we are on 14 forms for a mini project i think it will do the job so the project will start with the flash screen so flash screen is a welcome screen and then login form then mda form then the basic uh, entries like you know qualifications right so then you can enter the employee details then there is a like you no know, room details room details here so this is the basic entries okay so once that is done so then you can have a room booking so here booking and vacate both can be taken care here based on that we can have a reports the report will show you like what are the bookings done so here is a billing list report advanced list report so these are the reports so for your project should have some input entries the basic input entries in this case room type room details employee details these are the basic entries and the process so process is what every day taken place every day is the booking so one is booking one is a vacate so here advance amount also will come into picture so this is the processing after that we can have a reports based on that we can have a report so therefore this is the input entry some input entries and then uh, the process so what is the process taken place process is the booking and locating and then is the reports so we need to have a reports here so reports will give us the clear picture so what is this, what we can do in this particular project 
database tables uh, you are using backend as sql server and here are the tables so again there are 10 tables here so what are the forms we discussed corresponding uh, the data will come to the corresponding table here for example if it's a room type the room type the data will come to room type table room details will come to the room detail table like that so once you run the project, here is the MDA form. So this is the MDA form. Here is a menu where we can navigate to the forms. Okay. So these forms again I pasted here. So easy to understand. So you can see main entries. So one is the resort details. So when you click the resort details, so here is the hotel details. So you can open the hotel details form and you need to fill up. So once you fill up these details, so this will come to the table called as a hotel detail table. So here is the hotel detail table. So the data will transfer to this table. Here, uh, hotel one time details, therefore only one data will be there in the hotel detail. Next one is our qualification for employee. Here is a qualification form and this will go to the qualification table. So the data you enter here, so it will go to the qualification table. Same as room type. So here is a room type form. So this form will be opened and uh, corresponding data will go to the room type table. Likewise. So here is a booking actually. So all the booking will be stored in the room booking table. When you generating the report, this data will be pulled from this table and will be shown in the billing list. This is the report. So in this, we are going to show the data. Demonstration, I'll show the demo now. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. So I'll run the project in uh, Visual Studio 2019. Here you can see this is a Visual Studio 2019. Right, you can download the Visual Studio 2019 from the Microsoft website. It's a free edition. And the project is already open here. So therefore you can see, I'll just show you like how to open the project, close the solution. So save it. So you can see here is an open project. When you open the Visual Studio first time, you'll have this one, open project as solution. So hotel management, and there are two files. One is a project file, one is a solution file. A solution can consider consists more projects, okay. But here is only one project, therefore you can select any one file, will do the job. Open. So then the project is open. And here is a solution explorer. Solution explorer will show all the objects of the project, like you know, all the forms, modules. So all will be shown in the solution explorer. We can see all the forms here. And same way there is a server explorer. Uh, here is a database. I can delete this. I will connect it again. I will show you like. So again, in order to connect to the database, the database is available in this folder. So generally, we'll keep the database in the hotel inside that bin folder, inside the debug folder. So you can see that uh, there is a database here. The two files combined together give the database. Now we can link to this database via Server Explorer. We can also create a new one. So we have a separate video for that. Please watch that video, how to create a database. So you'll understand that. Now I go to Art Connections, then here is a Microsoft SQL Server database file. The type is SQL Server database file. So easy to deploy, that means easy to copy from one place to other place. So therefore you are using this type. And here is a database file name. So you can browse, bin folder, debug folder, hotel room data, that MDF, and then click OK. So it will be linked here. And if you expand this, you can see tables and you can able to see all the tables. So these are about the database. And here are the forms. So there is a flash screen. So this is a flash screen. Here is one picture and there is a timer here. And the, we written a code once the, this timer dot tick, timer, undo, timer one underscore tick will uh, repeat the code again and again. So in a properties, we need to set the property to interval property to 1000 means every one second it should fire and enabled is equal to true. That means the moment you run the project, the timer should start and every second it will fire. Means this code will execute again and again. So therefore I value will be keep on increases. Once I value reaches five, we stop the timer, we'll hide the form and we'll show the login form. So this is the concept here. And in case of login form, uh, again, there are different videos like how to create a login form and all. Please watch that video. So in case of login form, when you click OK, we check what are the user ID and password you enter. It is there in the database or not. If it is there, we are allowed to go to MDA parent. If not, we will show the message. Please enter the user ID password. Then we will go to MDA form. So here is MDA form. When you click employee details, so you should show the forms. Okay, this is the code 
to show the form you have to write the form name dot mda parent is equal to me that means you need to make a child then employee detail form dot show you have to show the form all right i'll show the simple form so room type we are two columns are there room type and the what are the facilities of this particular type okay let's say deluxe room uh, ac room or uh, suite so all the corresponding details you need to write it here right so now to enter first you have to click the new button we clear everything here and we are enabling and disabling the buttons after that once you enter the data you click the save button we are going to save the record here so here is a save command so insert into room type and uh, room type uh, details these two are the columns and co text box 1 text box 2 are the text values what are the values there that will transfer to the these two variables and by combining these two variable we will make a single statement single insert statement so then we will execute that one cmd one dot execute non query will execute the thing and that data will go to the room type so here is a room type so this data will come to this particular table so presently we have a deluxe ac one type but now when you run this project you can enter more uh, room types fine so let me run the project here so click start button so here is a welcome screen so we can change this picture you can also put some text here all possible presently it's a plane all right then admin admin so use a user id and password if you give the wrong one so definitely it'll show the but the main thing is like you need to learn how you can write this code and you need to explain how it is written so once you know that you can do multiple ways that is what important right so now it locks in and you are in mda form you can change the background color very easily go to the master resort details so here is the resort details you can change all the details and then you have to click the save button then is the qualification and then room type as i shown already there is one type is already entered here so you can enter more types then who are the employees working here we need to enter all the employee details here these are the employee details then the room details okay there are four rooms now 101 102 3 4 all are deluxe rooms and the corresponding price is specified over there so you can create a more rooms by clicking the new button and the room number description type what is the price per day specifications all you can write here here is important and this is the process okay these are the basic entries okay this do the job check in check out so here is the main thing so we'll show the rooms actually if there are no customers means all the rooms are vacant now so all free you can book the custom, any room so here is the price actually so corresponding room and the corresponding price is here when the customer comes so can all customer last for the particular type room so or you can tell the pricing so let's customer want this particular type so therefore the number will come the price will come here is the customer name so here we are not store the customer detail separately in the master uh, table in the bill only will st will store because we assume that new new customer come every day so let's say ravi then you take their address and address proof and all then you can enter the mobile number so you need to check valid number and what day to what date they want to stay from today to two days uh, then what is the advance amount they paid so that 6000 so in that they'll paid already 5000 so then you click the check in means they occupy this particular room now you can clearly see that uh, in four rooms one room is already occupied only three are left right so when you click on this particular thing the checkout option will be enabled so here you can see that checkout is disabled and check in is enabled so now assume that um, today's over and then otherwise they want to work it by paying the money so in that case you can say checkout so bill will be generated so this you can take the print out okay room number 03 rate 3000 two days 6720 and then total okay so this you have to generate after two days but anyway, i'm just showing the thing like so reports now we have a billing report so what are the bills done so therefore that will show the bills so how many days they have stayed what is the total bill amount that will be shown here we can also see the employee list complete employee list then room detail list what are the rooms are there that list will come here and then room booking advance okay what is the advance we received so that will come so in this particular day these are the advances we can take the print out of it and maybe a manager can be signed and they can uh, calculate all the things anyhow it's a basic level project so you should learn like how you can create all these forms and how to write the code for the same in case you wish to buy this project please contact us
Fine. So one report I'll show you like how to show the billing report, billing list report. So here we have to print. We require two controls. So one is a print preview control and the print document control. Okay. So two controls are required. Print document that is a printing dot print document. The other is a print preview dialog. So these available in the toolbox. So in the separate section called the printing. Okay. So here is the printing. So this is the print preview control and this is the print document. Both are required. So you need to add that into your form. Then we need to write the code for the same. So first we need to display in the grid. So this is the data grid view, called as DG1. So when you click display, what we'll do is so we filter the data. Fine. So what are the columns you want? We write the column names here from the room booking tab, where bill date is greater than the from date and bill date less than the to date. So between these two date, we want to select the data. After selecting the data, data will be transferred to a data set called as a DS1. So that will go to DS1. From DS1, we again we are transferred to the DG1. So therefore, only few lines of code to fetch the data and transfer the data to the grid. So this is the coding. So in case of print document, so here is the coding. So when you click the button, you have to say PP1 show dialog. So this will come to this particular coding. Here, what are the headings you want to write? So you need to write with the e dot graphics dot draw string. What is the location x and y position? So here we declared x and y position and we put the initial values and keep on incrementing the x value. Now y value is required. You need to increment the y value whenever is required. And here these are the columns. All comes in the same line. So x position will be move on, move to the right side. Okay, x position moves to the right side. Y to the bottom. So Y outside the loop will increment. This means each line will be get printed. So this is in a loop. Number of records in the data grid view. We'll read each one and then we'll print into the print format and that will go to print preview. That you can take the print out. Hope you get some idea how to make a project. So anything you'd like to say, please uh, write a comment in a comment box so let us know what you're thinking so please subscribe to our channel if you're not yet subscribed thank you for watching